Welcome. We're back to more of the Chinese Elm Merle. I have, uh, this is the last big chunk I have of it. I still have, I think, three other pieces of it. I'm not sure what to do with them. They're very odd shaped. I have to do a little better job of learning how to cut wood. And, but when it comes to cutting burls out, it's hard to cut a single burl out. As you can see, this is a very large single burl. Uh, it's a very odd shaped piece of wood. I don't know what this is gonna turn out to be. There's a flat spot here, which is where woodworm screw is screwed into. And I don't know what we're gonna do as far as the shape, what we're gonna have as far as this flat spot that was already here, this one, or this one. Uh, I don't think I can turn them all the way out because that would make it very, very small. But uh, we're, this is the, I thought I could get the most out of this uh, from this direction, so we'll see. Uh, but I'm not even sure we're gonna be able to turn it. I think I still have some problems with my lathe. Uh, the last time I just replaced the controller box on it, uh, so it does turn on. But when I was screwing this down, it wanted to uh, hang. So I took the brushes out, cleaned them, uh, put them everything back in, and we'll see if it's actually gonna turn it or if it's gonna just stop dead in its tracks. And I'm gonna have to think about replacing the motor. So let me get uh, my face and face shield on and we'll see what happens. Well, things got a little exciting. Uh, there was uh, some cracks that kind of broke out on me. And so I decided instead of trying to focus on video and I was gonna focus on trying to get that internal carved out fairly decently. And it's thicker than I like, but because of things like this, there's no option. Uh, here's where the crack was, this cracked out. 
this was a flat spot that I just smoothed it out after, after it went away, but it's still pretty thick. It's probably close to a half inch thick, but here's the real reason why I had to kind of stop fiddling with things. Uh, this crack goes all the way down and is in the tenon that I have. So when I get ready to turn this around, uh, it may come apart on me. But uh, it's sanded up to 600. It's very smooth where it can be smooth. Uh, this is all part of the burling here that was inset. <clears throat> bark inclusion here, still some bark inclusion here. This bark inclusion here goes to the bottom, but it doesn't go into the tenon. I cut the tenon deep enough to get past it because at one point, the first tenon I had was bark inclusion on two sides and I was afraid it wouldn't, get out. It wouldn't hold in the chuck because it would just squeeze in. Another bark inclusion here, uh, very unique. Uh, gonna put some Howard feeding wax on it and then we'll turn it around. First, let me go ahead and pull this off of here and I'll show you the uh, inside. Finished out. Not gonna hold water, folks, but it is very pretty, very smooth, very unique. Uh, like I said, the only issue I had was right here. This piece was cracked all the way down to this. This piece was cracked all the way down in here, and it it broke this little piece out here, and that was connected to this. Uh, other than that, this was all part of a flat spot. Still a little bit of a flat spot here, and same here. This has got some chainsaw marks on it. I guess if I looked at the camera, I could tell you what I was doing. Chainsaw marks here, a few chainsaw marks here. The rest of it's all pretty well done. Another flat spot here. As you can see, it's kind of thick. Let me put it back on the tripod and get the higher feed and whack out, and we'll see what we can do. Again, sorry for the fan or the air conditioner. It's October and still fairly warm. It's about 90 degrees down here in South Texas, so it's warm enough. I will let this uh, cure. I'm not sure how I'm gonna buff this. <laughs> uh, I may actually not buff it, just because I don't wanna damage myself. Because this is nothing more than a way to hurt yourself. That's all this bowl turned out to be. All this was hand sanded never done spinning because there was no option to spin this thing up so i did use my uh, two inch disc sander on it and spun it by hand a little bit but for the most part just hand sanding it the whole time uh, i like it pretty good just dry out i'll do something with it and i'll bring you back when i turn it around and see if we can get this tenon off without killing it this is about as close to round as I can get it. Uh, this hole is just stretched out, and so it's not letting me get it round again. But we're gonna go ahead and take it off and get as close as we can and then do the rest of it with the sander.
Well, we're done. Bottom is uh, finished out. Let's get it under the light here. Can't see it. And we move the light around. Finished out pretty nice. When I was doing it, this bark inclusion here started coming out. So I went ahead and pulled it out so that it would look nicer. It's uh, pretty good. It's about eight inches, seven inches, I think. And then about four inches tall. Finished out. I like it pretty good. I will take some stills and post them. I appreciate you coming by and watching. Please like and please subscribe and let me know what you think. Talk to you later.